So in our glorious introduction, we mentioned that, you know, you're in a kind of different stage at your business career, right? And you're moving on and you've moved on that you're not moving. You've actually moved on to become an investor, a mentor. And and that's, you know, that's an interesting that's an interesting uh, topic. So do you like what was that a natural choice for you when you exited on it that Okay, from now on, I don't want to run any other businesses. I want to, you know, invest the money, raise a fund, and invest other people's money because that's what basically. I mean, not not, not sure how many people realize it's not it's it's mostly other people's money that you um, and um, and you want to lead the new generation of startups to, to you know so that they can do the good for the world. I mean, uh, this this when I was in Onnet, it was really intensive. And when when I quit it, then I uh, then I went to London Business School uh, to yeah to be a, stu a student and to study business. And it was very good because you you I had completely different environment, and it was really good uh, time after this very very intensive uh, time when we were um, developing uh, on it. Uh, and then I realized that uh, that uh, what I want to do is to be a business angel. Uh, so I wanted to be involved in several projects. Uh, I wanted to support this project. I didn't want to, um, to work in financial institution like a, uh, like a fund. Um, and uh, so, so this supporting and also supporting with money, also, also um, uh, investing. Uh, this relationship with entrepreneurs, it was all somehow um, very attractive to me. And I decided that I want to uh, that I want to be a mm, uh, business angel. So the first the first change, the first uh, decision was uh, was to become a business angel. And uh, was this was this switch because it's a pretty big switch, I guess, from thinking in terms of doing things to thinking ab uh, about what to invest in, how to help. Was uh, it difficult? Absolu absolutely, it was. It was a huge. Uh, huge change because when you when you are an entrepreneur uh, then you know one organization uh, this one that you are uh, that you are working uh, in so and even if it grows you still know one company and it was my case. I, 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 I mean, it was Pascal, then Optimus Pascal Multimedia, then on it. But it's o it was all evolution of, uh, of, um, yeah, of uh, one company. I mean, yeah. And and so 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 I was in a company where I hired personally most of the people. I knew everything how it uh, grew from scratch um, to the to the, the to, 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 to to be a um, considerable uh, business. And then when you start talking with 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 other entrepreneurs, then I realized that it's in every company it's different. <laughs> And it was really, it was really uh, strange, and it got a couple of years to really to to see uh, that uh, that it can uh, that people are different, that leaders are different, that um, strat strategy of the companies uh, are different, and that for every of them um, to find the right um, the right place, the right way to develop. Uh, is a challenge, uh, so and and t it took me a couple of years to mm, to, to to learn it. Yeah. And uh, so, do you think that being an in an entrepreneur first helped you in being an investor, or was it actually be because of that it was more difficult for you to make a switch and start looking at more than one business and one venture? Mm. I mean, I like investors who were entrepreneurs before. <laughs> I mean, it really helps. I mean, you can you can uh, relate to the to the business uh, much more than people who come from a financial or consulting background. Mm -hmm. Okay, so For I n we know, and we will probably learn more about what you're doing in innovation as later. But did 
and I, you know we both know and and whoever read the hive description knows that you're focus on you're focusing on startups that geographically come from Poland and on Polish teams that you can you know help grow and and mentor them locally invest in them locally but they have to be global startups was was that the assumption you had from the beginning global is the way to go global 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 no, I wish I had, uh, but uh, but I realized it about two years ago that uh, the the uh, the business on internet uh, is uh, getting more global, and that Polish uh, uh, Poland is getting smaller as a as a mm, as a business uh, opportunity, and to and that you have to go, uh, you have to expand. Uh, uh, globally uh, to to survive that that there are uh, very few niches in the polish market that you can develop a considerable business of considerable size but it's a, it's a, i mean obviously i believe in global startups as probably as much as you do but uh, when you say it's difficult to survive it might be you know 40 million almost 40 million people uh, some people getting filthy rich on Polish businesses. It's kind of difficult to defend that thesis that it's difficult to survive. And you mean in the long term, in general, to dumb it? I mean, because y you can have a profitable business in Poland, and a, like a very profitable, probably even in 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 on the internet. I mean, uh, my argument is that there are very few opportunities like uh, like that. And it was five years ago. It was different. I mean, there were much less international or global businesses coming to Poland than it is uh, than it is uh, now. So, so, so I I I do not agree. There, there are uh, there oh, of course there are uh, opportunities. Of course there are niches. It's not that all businesses must be global, uh, but the number of these uh, opportunities uh, is is limited. So even though <laughs> so even though the number of internet users is growing in Poland, the number of opportunities is going down. I mean, a friend of mine told me the expression "a curse of 38 millions." I mean, we are a nation of a size that is quite awkward as as far as uh, as building internet businesses is uh, concerned. Smaller nations have it very clear they have to think uh, about uh, about more global setup of their businesses bigger nations uh, have it also uh, simpler because their markets are mm, rich enough to 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 uh, to, mm, to be the first um, environment target for the first market for for their businesses and 38 million for this this level of GDP as we have is quite awkward. Uh, so it is not a big market, and it's not uh, it's not small enough to to go global from scratch, and it's not big enough to 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 to, to build uh, the businesses. So yeah. again, I do I, I I totally agree, but I do think it's tricky. Maybe not to understand because I think if somebody doesn't under I mean not doesn't understand. if somebody disagrees and still wants to do a po business in Poland that's great and I think maybe like they should if they believe that's the niche then they hit they can they hit the sweet spot but um, it's just even as we're being constantly bombarded for the fact that right now Polish 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 speak English because of some English people in the audience obviously but because all our communication is in English and it's it's just not that easy to defend so you know if in, do, do you buy into that argument that Poland is too small of a market with 40 million that you cannot have a prof not profitable that's not the case but who doesn't buy that agreement who thinks you can have a great business in Poland see yeah yeah and i'm pretty sure as we So yeah, so that was kind of our question. So maybe, so maybe it's 
it's not it's not really the question of a market maybe it's because you've already managed to build the biggest company in Poland now your ambitions are like you you won't accept anything smaller than that I maybe I it's the kind of Amer another American I the global I dream I I think that we are uh, in the beginning of a transition uh, transition uh, period and you know that that sentence is true every year, <laughs> and everybody is like, "That's my favorite sentence." Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so uh, there was for last ten years at every conference, uh, the next big thing it was mobile, yeah. uh, but uh, but yeah. last year <laughs> it it became really true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next year, wow, that's really true. Uh, so uh, so uh, I I will continue yeah, nevertheless. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, we are in the beginning of a transition period and either in three years time we will sit here at Hive and there will be several businesses that have uh, mm, uh, global customers, global users and uh, this and this uh, mm, uh, environment will be really uh, blooming and really developing or uh, we will uh, speak in Polish <laughs> at, at hives and we will have uh, several peripheral uh, businesses that are not that important and there will be one third of the number of people that are coming to hives uh, today so uh, so uh, so we are starting something that is uh, that is uh, we are just at the beginning mm -hmm. and uh, either this transition will take place mm -hmm. and then it will be normal yeah. mm. it's it's quite nice that you t touched on the uh, the environment that is uh, that, that is growing now uh, and because my next question would be about the uh, the polish scene the polish startup scene polish entrepreneurs about uh, where we are right now compared to the rest of the world and uh, where do you think uh, or what what do we need to actually become more global and become more successful in as a community and environment what do we need to be uh, to be uh, to be more uh, to be more global uh, i mean the first thing we should more um, develop uh, global ideas. Uh, we should be more creative as far as a uh, setup of of uh, of uh, startups of businesses is uh, concerned. We should uh, we should be more courageous uh, to 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 think what is uh, what is possible and what uh, uh, and what uh, may be achieved. And and it's really and it's really some uh, some uh, um, limitation here. I mean, I I, th I I talk with several people that uh, that uh, that somehow are not um, brave enough to, to 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 go with what is really uh, what is really possible. It is one thing. Uh, what is needed, and the second is uh, is networking, a global networking. So, uh, so um, uh, we are this 38 million. So we have lots of people to talk with in Polish, but the world is really bigger. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so we 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 should uh, go abroad mar much more. And to and to and and to talk about it, to show your businesses, to show your your ideas, to get into conversation, into exchange of uh, uh, ideas, to 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 ask for support, to give support, to be to be more global in 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 our relationships. I mean, it is such a it is such a um, industry. Uh, for other industries, it might be d uh, might be different. I'm I'm talking about about internet businesses. It is such an industry that there is no way that that we stay in our own uh, um, environment. Internet is global today. Internet is global. Internet business is global. That's it. So so many many people say that uh, not many like we we pretty much say that as well that the ecosystem here in Krakow and in Poland in general is still not very mature. So. Which is okay because I mean, as long as we keep working on it, and we—I mean, not us, but we all keep working on it. Um, but 
but I'm not sure. And this is an in this is I think so. Some background mm, and information. We and we happened at th to be in Silicon Valley at the same time for several weeks last year, and um, and Piotr was there with some of his startups. Uh, we were there with uh, so m me and and my uh, my co-founders, my partners were there with some of our new projects and. And it was amazing because we kind of mm, all, um, and this is I we, I we are in love with Silicon Valley. Yeah, yes, I it's mean true. I, that's that's <laughs> and it's you know it's easy, to <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> no, but um, but it's very difficult to convey to convey that mindset. I think so. A, whenever somebody's telling you the ec ecosystem is missing, the ecosystem is missing. I think it's hard to understand what it means. Like it took me five years to understand it. I went there and I was like, okay, the ecosystem is missing. So uh, you come back and you seriously understand that what is that ecosystem that everybody is talking about? And I think you understand that too because I remember Piotr, and that's an interesting story. He was ecstatic every single day. He was telling like, Ella, this is amazing. Some r I met some random people in the cafeteria because they saw I was speaking with this guy and suddenly you're even right now doing some Skype mentoring for people that you don't even know that you like so this the the level of connectivity there and I think like if you want to talk about your experiences yeah, in the is, valley that's is, really it inspiring. Is, it is it is really funny story about this networking uh, 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 there. It was really like that. We were we were in the at branch in one uh, one of the mm, at one cafe with some other people uh, from 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 in the from the internet from the industry, and and I started to, to talk with a random random people they w that were uh, uh, there. I exchanged a couple of uh, of uh, emails afterward, and then I got. And I, I, I told that that I'm I'm a partner in seed fund uh, um, here in Poland, and I got an email whether I would agree to be a mentor to a startup that is just um, that, that 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 two guys are starting in in San Francisco. Well, okay. And 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 we had a Skype conference, and uh, and we we went for um, an hour conversation. I gave I gave them lots of feedback. Uh, I mean, they were really prepared. I mean, th it was it was really really. Um, I mean, they they made their homework, so it was it was really uh, really good. So so they don't ha they they have a problem. They want to, to get mentoring. They d want how to talk with investors, and then they look around for whoever could help them. Doesn't matter whether it is Poland in this case or it is it is it is somewhere in states. That's it, and it works. And so, w what do you think we need to help grow this ecosystem? This uh, yeah, th the fact that. People start talking to each other, asking f uh, for advice because I think we're still a little bit shy about to, to do those things. Beer. <laughs> 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 Drink more. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, I think that the, the most important is to uh, is to build good companies uh, I, and to so to have the ideas. And then to be very specific at what you plan to do, uh, to really to to to, to set uh, set up good milestones and create uh, and create uh, companies. Can, can I argue with you? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think when and just having in mind everybody who's sitting there, when we tell people at first we need to build great companies and then <laughs> it's kind of easy to be open when you already know you have a badass product. I think it's exactly the opposite. I think it's it going to some conferences, getting out of your comfort uh, comfort zone. When I first went to TechCrunch Disrupt and Bart, who I work with and live with, um, he he can tell you that I was damaged. I came back and I was like, Bart, we don't even know what we're doing, and like you know, it was very in emotionally intense. Oh yeah, like th this what happened, and like repeating that a month after. I mean, not a month after a month because flight tickets are expensive, but repeating it and getting out of the comfort zone as soon as you can, and talking as much as you can, and then you can build a great company. Because I don't think without that exposure and without all those great conversations in the first place, you can build a great company. Because how, like how? I mean, you maybe that's just 
how we managed to do that. But I think, you know, just build a great company and then you, it will be very easy to be kind I of I open minded. I mean, you are right. Uh, you are right. Uh, what I really meant is to, uh, to have a project you work on and then to go, uh, and um, it can be tomorrow. I mean, you can uh, start to think about about your project, what is uh, it's going to uh, to be, how it will work, and once you have that, the next step is to go out of your comfort zone, and to and to and to uh, get connected. Mm -hmm. So, do you think it's easier or harder than people think in Silicon Valley? Because Dolina Krzemowa, we all know, like the American Naukowcy w Dolinie Krzemowej, discovered this and discovered that, and we all like we all know that's kind of the secret growl geographically of the innovation. So it's kind of intimidating, and I don't think it is as much. I think people, it's not the like my thesis is it's not the like people who have like the biggest talent, but kind of the biggest. Um, not ambitions, but like kind of the biggest, the biggest amounts of energy. So yeah. tupet, I, tupet, I would <laughs> say in Polish. I don't know. What's, it's not about like the smartest. It's it's more about the most driven. Mm -hmm. I mean, I uh, I mean, everybody should go there for six weeks and to and to work there, and then it would be and uh, then uh, then uh, then uh, uh, it is it 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 is a very good uh, mm, experience. So somehow. Uh, there is no point to go to Silicon Valley for one week. I mean, you just you just will be on the very surface of uh, that. But once you are there, and you are not jet lagged, you are used to the way people speak, and you really start to you you are used to the climate, and you really start to talk with people, then suddenly you realize that people are extremely open. And uh, and very very good. So they really know the business, and they are interested uh, inter interested in what you and w in what you are mm, uh, what you are saying. Obviously, you you will not talk with the top VCs or the t uh, top 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 business angels, but to other entrepreneurs, to other people in the industry. And then it is it is this magic of this uh, of this ecosystem. That somehow you have the idea, you just talk with people, and you get um, a support. Yeah. You get the, you go, you get uh, support from all this, uh, all this uh, talks. Okay. So, do you have any questions to that part? We really m quite a lot over time. So, uh, like two questions, Max. Anybody has a question to the? Yeah. In in inve investing. Yeah. Go ahead. So the question was whether Piotr knows or have an has an idea about how to create this climate, this atmosphere of Silicon Valley here in Krakow. I mean, we will not create Silicon Valley. Uh, we will create uh, our own Krakow um, uh, startup uh, environment. And uh, so, so I would change this question how to, um, how to develop what uh, is uh, here uh, already. I mean, there is uh, there there are needed um, entrepreneurs. There are needed uh, teams. There are needed investors and mentors and support of it, and the connectivity between uh, them. So, if we if there is any initiative uh, that could expand any of these items, it it is positive. And we could, uh, and we should, and we should do as much of um, any of them as uh, as uh, possible. There is no one, there is no one um, um, recipe how to how to change it. Uh, it is just the, the the quality of the elements and the quality of the network between them. So I took part in, in just for me to jump in, in an interesting discussion in in Berlin with like a meeting with some U U.S. investors how they created because Berlin actually made it happen in the last five years they grew into a very vibrant startup scene they outgrown London by far London used to be the you know, the, the the Silicon Roundabout the startup area in London 
uh, was the place to be for startups. And right now it isn't. It's Berlin. You go there. The main VCs are there. The ecosystem is amazing. It's way cheaper than in San Francisco. Those startups are actually very proud to be based in Europe. And they're proud, proud to be based in Berlin. You know, like SoundCloud is there. Wuga is there. Many other companies are right now there. And they made it happen by... Uh, you know, by meetups, by communicating with the rest of the world in English, but th because those VCs and you know and, and that came there need to first understand the ecosystem and they need to understand in the language they understood, so English. And um, different co-working spaces, different uh, it's just bringing people together and and it's I think on an example of also New York, it takes like five to ten years to even get it developed to a stage, maybe you know. Not saying it just I guess it just takes time and like intensity and I don't know. <laughs> because we were working on it so we kind of think <laughs> of it too. <laughs> so any comments yeah. about this? <laughs> there was Eva has a question, I think. I mean, uh, there, are, there, there are many answers to this uh, to this question. Uh, uh, my answer is that the easiest and uh, the best uh, lesson you can get is from Bay Area <laughs> in California, and obviously there are uh, there are there are uh, other regions, and obviously, uh, mm, uh, I mean, going global doesn't mean to se to sell products in in San Francisco it it may mean different things it depends on your on your product uh, but somehow uh, we are really in love with Silicon Valley and the quality of network of feedback uh, the, 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 the w how much you can learn there my opinion is that it is a very a very special uh, very special uh, place that's it Okay, so we move to the to the last part, uh, which is uh, we would like to know more about what you're doing right now, about Innovation Nest, about your initiatives right now, and your plans. And, and, and now I'm uh, I have uh, I have uh, mm, co-founded with my partner with Marek Kapturkiewicz uh, a seed fund, uh, Innovation Nest, and we are. And we are looking for uh, for mm, projects that have a global potential, uh, and uh, and that's it. We are we are we want to mm, support. We want to work with uh, companies uh, that are Polish and that have a viable idea how to go, how to expand, uh, mm, how to expand uh, globally. Uh, it is it is it is one one company my main um, engagement and we also started Szkoła Przedsiębiorczości Innovation Nest where we um, where we are running workshops for entrepreneurs and for future entrepreneurs uh, to work on their ideas of the business uh, to work on their um, how to how to develop their uh, businesses we approach this uh, during these workshops and also in innovation nest we are using our own mm, methodology how to improve the chances to succeed for a startup and we, we go through four elements in all projects. The first is strategic direction. The second is the leader and the team. The third are resources that are needed. And the fourth is 
are milestones and the and the operational efficiency. So it is the approach that we are we are doing. So answering your question, I'm running, I'm CEO and a managing partner of uh, Innovation Nest. And uh, we are also um, developing Szkoła Przedsiębiorczości Innovation Nest. Go ahead. So what are, uh, we, we, we need some details, like some concrete facts. So what are some recent investments of, 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 of uh, Innovation Nest? Uh, we mm, uh, we started. Are the numbers dis undisclosed, or <laughs> are, there, are the numbers disclosed? I mean, uh, I mean, I can tell it uh, here for the first time that 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 now we concluded the talks with with uh, uh, with two projects with Save Up uh, with Arex Cusa that uh, that some of you may uh, may know. And they have quite unique technology for mm, image recognition uh, that is very efficient on mobile phones. And based on it, they want to enter the mobile commerce space. And we also uh, concluded our talks with, uh, with a company from Gdańsk. Uh, its name is UXPIN. And they, uh, they develop a tool for UX design. So it is for UX uh, designer uh, designers, and there is uh, and they they, they develop uh, a tool how to um, design um, uh, web pages and mobile pages that have some additional very interesting uh, features, and uh, and yeah, it's 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 what I can uh, tell uh, today. And uh, the day after tomorrow, uh, we are we are going to and yes, and the the third company uh, is Use It Better. It's a company that have an analytical tool for rich uh, media, and it is target it targets um, game developers to uh, to to make the whole process of game developing uh, much uh, smoother. And uh, and on Wednesday, uh, I'm flying to mm, uh, first to to to, to SX uh, mm, South by Southwest, and then to uh, and then to Silicon Valley, with these three companies, and we will be mm, looking for basically mainly for feedback on what they are doing, for business development. And in one case, also for potential co-investors in uh, in uh, future. So it's the news what we are what yeah. we are. Congratulations! Doing. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. So I think that's. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. We managed. Yeah, that con that concludes the interview. Thank you so much, Piotr, uh, for sharing. Uh, thank you. Thank you.